Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about romance releases that I am excited to read for the second half of 2023. So these are romance releases that are coming out anytime later this year that I have on my TBR that I really want to read. I am very excited for all these books, so let's get into them. I don't know a lot about some of these, but they're by authors that like I love, so that's why they're on my TBR, you know? Um, so first I have a few that don't have set dates yet, but I am hoping will be published this year at some point. I've put this on my anticipated TBR videos for like the past like three years um but I'm just gonna keep it on all of them because I want it to happen um it's the first book in Tali Hibbert's Skybriar series I don't even know what this is about on Goodreads it says it's supposed to come out on April 15th but I don't even know if that's gonna happen like there's no cover there's no blurb um so we'll see <laughs> um but I will read anything Tali Hibbert writes and this is the start of a new series from her um, so I hope that this one gets published this year. If not, it'll just be on my anticipated releases for next year. <laughs> Another release that was supposed to come out earlier this year is Black Hellboy by Grace Draven, which is a little novella about Brishan and Ildiko from Radiance by Grace Draven, um, which is like my favorite fantasy romance book ever. I love that book so much. It's supposed to come out earlier this year, I think like March time, but Grace Shadman was recently diagnosed with cancer and so she's very ill and so she's had to put this book a little bit on the back burner to focus on her health, which completely understand. Like, girl, take care of yourself first and foremost. I love her world and I love her writing so much. So yes, I do hope this book gets published this year. If not, that is totally fine too. Grace Shadman needs to worry about herself first and foremost. Um, but I will be excited to read this book regardless if it comes out this year or next year or the year after that. And then the last one that I have to mention that doesn't have a set date is Darn It All by Evie Mitchell, which is the third book in her All Access series. This is another book that was supposed to come out earlier this year, but I believe due to health issues, Evie Mitchell has put this book on the back burner as well. Evie Mitchell um, is another chronically ill girly, so I understand what she's going through. So again, an author that needs to focus on themselves first and foremost um, and I will be excited to read this book whether it comes out this year or at any other time. Um, there's part of me that hopes it comes out this year but it's totally okay if not. I just love her writing so much I want to read this book. Okay so all the rest of the books I have in um, like date order so the book that comes out more recently is A Gargoyle's Delight by Naomi Lucas and Mel Braxton. This is a monster romance. The hero has suffered for centuries, solidified and silenced all because he failed to destroy what he was created for. Except now after so long, there is a woman, one who always seems to be at his side. Day after day, night after night, she talks to him, touches him, tells him things. She shares stories of a world he no longer knows. She is a reprieve to his punishment, a sweet delight. She liberates him from his solitude. But when he rises, his adversary seizes his opportunity and she's caught between them. If I know a monster romance is coming out later this year, like it'll be on my TBR. So leave your recs below. If you know of a monster romance, alien romance coming out later this year, that sounds really good. Let me know. Naomi Lucas has written the like Naga Bride series. I still need to read those books. Um, so I'm excited to read more gargoyle books. Ooh, then I have one I am so excited to read. I wanna read this book right now. This is called Here With Me by Brooke Montgomery. This is the first book in the Sugarland Creek series. This is a forbidden age gap standalone small town romance. And I think this is also X's dad. Like. Give it to me now. This comes out on September 6th, which is two days after my birthday. So this will be a little birthday treat for me. Fisher is our hero and he ends up working on the heroine's family's horse ranch and they have to work together. He's twice her age, it's workplace setting. And yeah, he is her ex's dad. This looks so stinking good. Like small town, ex's dad. Again, I wanna read this right now. Then I have A Queen of Thieves and Chaos by K.A. Tucker, which is the third book in the Fate and Flame series. I've only read book one. I need to get to book two. It's sitting on my shelves over there, but it's still gonna be like an anticipated book for me. This is going to come out on September 5th. I definitely need to read book two before I get into book three. I think I need to go check and see if the audiobook is out for book two already. Anyway, um, this is the third book in her fantasy romance series that has a lot of twists and turns in it. I can't really even talk about it, because I feel like anything I say about this book series, like, is a spoiler. 
you know, I know in book one, our heroine is in like our world and then she gets roped into this life of a witch and the witch ends up putting her in her doppelganger's body in a fantasy realm. A lot going on there. Then I have Griffins and Gains by Ashley Bennett, which is the fourth book in her Leviathan fitness series, which is a monster romance um, series she's written. I don't know if this book's gonna be coming out. It says it should be coming out on September 8th, but um, I know she pushed back this book in order to write uh, book three in the series. Um, like she switched up the uh, writing order to write Muscles and Minotaurs first. I think that's what it's called, Muscles and Minotaurs. So I don't know if she's changed the release date of this one or this one is still coming out on September 8th, I don't know. But any book in a series is definitely on my TBR, my anticipated releases. This is a part of her Monster Romance series where like monsters and humans get together and the commonality is that they all go to this like monster gym. They're really fun, hot monster reads. Then I have Wed to the Lich by Layla Faye, another author that I just need to put all of her books on my anticipated lists um, because she writes monster romances I'm obsessed with. <laughs> and look at this cover y'all. Like. Are you joking? I've read the first book in this like companion series, which is Wed to the Ice Giant, where I think like they get genetically matched to their perfect mate. Um, and there's like, it's mates with humans and monster creatures. I loved the first one, which was Wed to the Ice Giant. Like, oh, so good. So I don't even know anything about this, but I really enjoyed book one. Then I have The Wedding Menu by Letzia Lorini. I'm probably butchering that, I apologize. Um, but look at how cute this looks. This comes out on September 15th. How many weddings does it take to fall in love? One year ago, Amelie had it all. Almost engaged to her high school sweetheart, close to her childhood best friend, and cooking at her dad's restaurant, her life was exactly what she'd ordered. Until Ian, an opinionated wedding hater, popped up out of nowhere and proved she might like something off the menu. One year later, Amelie has lost it all. She's unemployed, single, and taking a break from her friendship. As for Ian, he's gone too. When she visits Ian's hometown to teach at a week-long cooking conference, she hopes for a fateful meet cute. But their reunion is far from joyful when Amelie discovers Ian is the son of her father's business rival. Even bigger fiasco, he only wants friendship. Amelie has one week to change his mind. And if the truth of why her whole life fell apart remains hidden, their love story might even end with a wedding. I love cooking and baking and romances. So like when I saw the title and the cover of this one, I just needed to put it on my TBR. Then I have Clee Cute by Meryl Wilsner. This is a sapphic romance. Oh, by the way, it comes out on September 19th. A lot of these books come out in September. Anyway, um, this is a sapphic sports romance. I think both of them are on a either professional or college soccer team. It looks really cute. I don't want to know anything else, but I need more like sapphic romances and I just need more romances with like women who play sports also. Next I have Rook by Jillian Graves. This is book number two in Romancing His Stone series, uh, which is her like gargoyle romance series. I didn't love book one, Titan, and so I'm gonna give Rook a shot. This one comes out on October 1st. I'm gonna give Rook a shot because I do love a few other Jillian Graves reads that I've read, um, but I didn't love Titan. But I'm gonna try Rook, and if I don't like Rook, I just won't read the rest of the series and I'll just read other Jillian Graves books. But I don't really know much about this. I think Rook and his love interest we met in Titan. Um, so I hope I love their romance. On October 10th, I have Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lees. <laughs> this is the second book in her Wilmot Sisters series, which is her traditionally published series is a retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. I can't wait to read this one. I love Shakespeare retellings, so I think this like whole series is just gonna be fantastic from Chloe. Then on October 12th, we have Madam by Sarah Kate. Um, this is her sixth book in the Salacious Players Club series. There's no blurb out as of right now, but I think I know who this is about. And have I read <laughs> books two through five yet? No, but I still wanna read Madam. Like it still looks really good. Then I have Hopeless by Elsie Silver. This is book five in the Chestnut Spring series. It comes out on October 13th. And I don't even know who this is about, <laughs> but it's the fifth book in the Chestnut Spring series. I still need to read uh, Reckless, which is book four. Um, and then I'll be like caught up. But um, any book in the series is definitely gonna be 
very much anticipated for me and many others out there. This is a small town romance series like everyone's in love with this year. Then on October 24th is To Ravish a Rogue by C.M. Nascosta. A bunch of like monster romance, alien romance authors are coming out with books like in this series. I really want to read this one because I don't think it's a monster romance. I think it's fantasy by C.M. Nascosta, um, which I haven't really loved C.M. Nascosta's monster romances. So I'm hoping I love this fantasy one. And I think it's also a pirate romance. Like, I love pirate romances so much. Then I have Iris Kelly Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake, which is the third book in the Bright Falls series. I loved Delilah Green Doesn't Care, and then I really enjoyed Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail, and so book three has to be on my anticipated releases. This one comes out on October 24th, and it's a sapphic read um, between Iris and Stevie. I don't want to read the summary because I don't want to spoil myself, um, because I really want to read this one without knowing the summary beforehand. I really enjoyed doing that with the other two books in this series. So I hope I love this one. I think it's like one of the few traditionally published books on this list. One that I'm dying to read is Dukes and Deeks by Tori Jean. This comes out on November 7th. I don't even know what this book is about, but I've seen like little clips and little like teasers on Tori's Instagram. And it looks like it's like a historical, and it's gonna have a chronic illness wrap. I am so excited. I love Tori Jean's writing. And so I am like, thrilled to read this one especially since like all I've read from her is contemporary I can't wait to read like a historical more historical set one then I have warts and all by Ashley Bennett another Ashley Bennett I want to read this one because of how ridiculous it sounds but I don't care this is an MMF monster romance where I think the heroes are frog shifters <laughs> Like, are you joking? I need to read that just because I want to say that I've read that. This one comes out on November 19th. I am like chomping at the bit to read this one. I've told some of my friends about it and like, we're like, bring it to us. We want to read it now. It sounds so good, even though it's about frog shifters. Like what the heck? Then I have For Never and Always by Helena Greer. This one comes out on November 28th. So apparently Hannah has had a lonely childhood like traipsing all over the world with her family but now she has like a she is the co-owner of a destination inn um but her thoughts keep coming back to levi blue her first love worst heartbreak and now thanks to her great aunt's meddling will absentee business partner okay so when Levi left the inn, he had good intentions. As the queer son of the inn's cook and groundskeeper, he never quite fit in in their small town and desperately wanted to prove himself. Now that he's a celebrity chef, celebrity chef, yes, um, he, he's ready to come home and make amends. Only his return goes nothing like he expected. His family's angry with him and his best friend is dating his nemesis and Hannah just wants him to leave again. Levi sees his chance when a VIP bride agrees to book at the inn if he's the chef. He'll happily cook for the wedding and in exchange Hannah will give him five dates to win her back. Only Hannah doesn't trust this new Levi and Levi is coming to realize Hannah's grown too. But if they find the courage to learn from their past, they might just discover the love of your life is worth waiting for. I will say that there are multiple typos in the summary on Goodreads. So I hope that does not reflect the book at all. <laughs> but um, like there's a bunch of missing words and stuff like that. So like, I hope that does not reflect the book itself, but that does sound really good. If there's anything to do with like a chef or a baker, immediately goes on my TBR. And the last book on this list is one many of us have been anticipating. This is A Dance of Smoke and Steel by Mila Vane. Book number three in her Gathering of Dragons series, which is the third book in her fantasy romance series that is very well beloved. I love this fantasy romance series. I don't know who this is about. I don't want to know who this is about, but I want to read it. This comes out on November 28th and I will be counting down Days. I hope it doesn't get pushed back. I really hope. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some romances I am anticipating for the second half of 2023. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any food emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.